What's going on, everybody? I'm Lloyd. And I'm Natasha with Real Life Comics. And welcome to a very special episode of What, what We're Reading. Reading. Today's very special episode of What We're Reading, where we'll be counting down our top five books that we've read in 2023, or at least the ones that we made videos on. Yep, so here is our list, starting with number five. Dun, 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 dun. So we've got Talasha the Stars by CNS Comics, or Tales of the Stars if you're familiar with that title. Um, awesome. Awesome story. Awesome the story series. from beginning to where it is now mm -hmm. is amazing. The art is beautiful. Phenomenal, especially from five. And if you're on the Patreon, we've got sneak peeks at six, if not the entire thing at this point of issue six. The artwork looks fantastic. I so, wish we were there. Huh? I wish we were there. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to get all that. And if you guys aren't a part of the Patreon, definitely sign up for the Patreon so you can get an extra look at the next issues of what CMS Comics has to offer. But we did touch on uh, a little bit in regards to how wordy it can be in the beginning, yes. but again, it does not take away from the world building. It doesn't take away from the story as a whole. As a matter of fact, so many words, but anything, it adds to it. Adds building, to it, which I guess some people put them on because they add anything. So. Yeah, so they did a fantastic job. You like reading? Definitely check that out. The covers, oh, all the covers. I do believe that the issue five cover, actually issue six, the issue cover. six covers. Covers. <laughs> but if you haven't read it, it doesn't count. So the issue five cover is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. So. Check out more detailed analysis, if you would, of our thoughts. Our, what we're reading, what we're reading. episode of CNS Comics, Tales of Stars, presents to watch the Star, which should be our last video before this one. Yeah, so, next up we have... Number four. So, number four. Ooh. Flip Flop. Yes, by Craze Kai, and ooh we. What a you, story. What a story. So, first off, uh, you could find the first issue of it. It was actually a webcomic first. The webcomic is actually several chapters that Apologize. lead up to the two chapters that's that we have in book four. Yeah, it's check out all of those. Again, the artwork is great. Craze Kai, the, the, the level of detail. The level of detail is absolutely amazing. I think this is probably one of my favorite black indie mangas in regards to art. Um, the artwork, again, I can't think of anything that's on that level. The, feature, the black features, that really takes the case. Yes, because you don't really see that. Yeah. Absolutely outstanding. Definitely check it out, of course, all the information and a more detailed explanation as well for that. All of these, of course, will be on previous episodes of Little Reels. Definitely check that out. We'll talk more about the story there. So, so number three, Keisha D. Mater by Dream Fury Comics Ooh, and Me. Ooh, I. First up. Yeah, I was about to say, we talked about it. Cover the cover or the cover, the interior. The book itself. The, okay, yes. The, the quality feel, of the quality of the actual it's so product soft. itself. Yes. It's, it's wild how soft the cover is. That book is. Right. And the pages. Yeah, it, the material is not like any like the material of any of the books that we've gotten outside of that, honestly. Yeah, not in a bad way. No, not in a bad way at all. Um, and then of course, you know, of course it feels good, but now you look at a big thing, of course, obviously for us as creatives in this space, artwork. That mm -hmm. artwork is absolutely phenomenal. And I love, how love, love, love. The colors. Right. It, we got the black and white color. version. Right, exactly. We did the black and white version, the original. The, the original version, and there's no colors, but there's like this this tint or hue, no color. Uh, right, on certain things. And it's so cool. Oh now, gosh. of course, they re-released it since then, where mm -hmm. you can get the fully covered version, and from the pages that I've seen, it still looks amazing. Yeah. There's just something about the uniqueness yes. and the quality of how it looks with that little pop of color mm -hmm. against the liner. It just it's, so good. it's its own kind of really cool looking page the story though the story, the story like you you get a full volume it's a volume so you got a good bit of pages but it doesn't necessarily take its time with mm -hmm. the story like you get so much so quick it doesn't feel rushed if that makes sense to you you get the origin point you get what's going on with keisha herself in that cliffhanger of an ending what's gonna happen next you the moment you asked that question, they got your OG. So definitely check out Big Fury's Kiss Your Demon Eater, because yeah, phenomenal. Right. Number two. <sighs> yeah, so we had one a- of the hardest decisions. This was hard. Made. So- we made a rule. We did make a rule. So this one, spoiler warning, is a concrete comics one, um, for sure. The rule was, there can only be one concrete comics book on the list. Yeah, so- Since we've reviewed, or talked about- All of them. Every, pretty much every one that's been released. Now, there are two videos, it, missing two videos missing that we definitely recorded, but just to lost it either. And Andy Star and Andy Starboy and I, I no idea what happened to the videos, but we did them. Yeah, we, we <laughs> did the videos, and I, I, I could have sworn they were uploaded, and I 
Yeah, so whatever those Disappeared. Uh, stories are absolutely fantastic. Um, I think I've said in the past, Odino is my favorite character from Concrete sure. Comics. Um, how, you know, her whole progression of the story was absolutely For amazing. Sure. Um, Acolyte, that series has really taken off, especially with the re-release of issue one, up until what we know, little sneak peeks that we've got in issue six. Mm -hmm. Watchmen is a whole nother beast in its own right. Um, right. And Smallver is so, going in a direction that is just like, I need to know more, mm -hmm. I need to know more about everything that's yeah. happening, just even just in this universe. Right. Where, where he is. Like, Luna, like you said, mm -hmm. is, is, is swear as the future. It's the future of storytelling, obviously. And Deja Vu just has that amazing team dynamic of Deja Vu. Mm -hmm. Just this amazing team dynamic. That husband wife duo, the, husband the brother wife coming in. Brother. Mm -hmm. And of course, Primate. Primate, one of the newer ones that's in the in, in this class. Look. That's, that's, that's a killer. The right Punisher, here. if you will, one of, of uh, Concrete Comics, honestly. Yeah, he's um, but this was, this was tough. This was tough, because everything that they've put out has been bangers, honestly. Um, so, with that being said, and again, this was probably really close for us. Very. Very close. Came down to two. Came down to two. But the one, one that's chosen was Luna. Luna, Luna is oh my queen. Gosh. The queen of Maru, exactly. She that that story for definitely of course we'll start with the artwork. The artwork. The variant oh. covers, the interior art, everything it's, is so beautiful. And then issue two cover that was that's all really, listen. I can't Absolutely. wait for next year, 2024. It's crazy. To be so, we had the opportunity to have a conversation with Carla a while back, and I remember her talking about how she wants to be able to tell stories, and we and we share the sentiment. I want to be able to tell stories like, hey, if I just if I want to have black characters going out and mining meteors or moons or whatever like that, that's what I want to do. I don't want things tied to our current circumstance necessarily. I want to be able to tell fantastical stories completely separate of what we see every single day. And that is, that, that, that's what we want too. Like, like obviously we go through things and we want to be able to express those experiences and everything like that. But the whole point is that next generation of creatives, now that they get to see themselves in media, see their story, now they get to take it that extra mile and say, it's not just about seeing ourselves and represented in here. Now we want to see something beyond I want to see well, multiple different multiple. circumstances and not just the same one all the time. Right. Which is so, what I would say about what we're trying to do. And, and so, then here in this beautiful fantasy love story, mm -hmm. it's a whole new kind of difference. Right. And it's so many hundreds, if not thousands of years into the future. Yeah, they're, not even, they're not even on Earth. It's so far removed. Mm -hmm. And so that is like literally what we, that, that's, that's what we've dreamed of. Right? So being able to actually see that and then how she executes the story. And you would never believe that this was her first comic book nope. at all. She was motivated We've by seeing it. Man. <laughs> right, right. We've said it before. Yeah. I, I think you I would never it. be able to tell. You would not. You wouldn't be able to tell she's ever read a comic book before last year. Right. So you're like, so, so Carla, you did a phenomenal job. Outstanding work with this story. Like, again, guys, you would never guess. Like, she got motivated by seeing Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And, and just dove head deep. I think she goes by a comic book noob, noob comic book noob. Um, and so yeah, she's doing a phenomenal job, y'all. So definitely check her out, support her. Of course, again, she's over there at Concrete Comics. And of course, don't forget to check out the video where we go more in depth about our thoughts on her story, Luna, Queen of Mars. Of course, if you're part of Concrete Comics Patreon now, mm -hmm. of course, also, you can get sneak peeks and all their stuff. And, and, I was, I was able to see some of the cover early and a bunch of other stuff some people may not have seen. Join Carla's broadcast channel mm -hmm. where she is. She does polls, early looks, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So join us for those people great. who decide to be there and go along the journey with her. Yeah. So definitely be a part of all that. And uh, again, phenomenal job. Now, for the, for the number, number one, one pick, pick, we have got the Judas, Judas Complex, Complex by Sun M. And whoo! Listen. Go ahead, Tasha. Go ahead. <laughs> That was fire, bro. Blew me away. Okay, I don't even remember how I came into possession of this story, but it is amazing. It's so good. <laughs> so it's like amazing. There's so many twists and turns, questions that get answered immediately, but then so many more questions towards the end that don't. But you're just so hooked by the roller coaster ride. Right. And as soon as you think it's over, it keeps going. Mm -hmm. But you're so hooked, you're happy that it keeps going. You don't want it to end. 
Because you're like, wait, wait, I still have quite Okay, we're still going. Thank God. There's so much mystery behind the events that take place. The characters. The characters themselves. Just everything that's going on. Like, it's so good. She, the moment you start making really assumptions. Job, yes. Keeping that mystery and keeping it intriguing. Mm -hmm. From the way the story begins to the way the story ends. Well, yeah. Look, the yes. si right, right. <laughs> you better be more. But listen, look, if y'all haven't ch had a chance to check out Judas Complex by Sun Hell, y'all missing out. That's that's definitely, definitely looking forward to whatever they have coming next. Um, hopefully in the next couple months or so, or within the next year. But yeah, definitely check that out more on this next step or, or on that pre or previous episodes of what we're reading. Definitely Oops. check all those out. Of course, go ahead and just make sure to check out all the videos because like we always say are what we're reading is us talking about books that we enjoy. Right. So all the videos are about books that we absolutely loved. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you will find a book that resonates with you. And of course remember, this is our top five. Mm -hmm. This is all our opinion. Everybody has their own opinion and what they like about stories. So leave your own top five in the comments below. Please do, let's keep the conversation going. If there is some that we didn't mention in this list or some that we should check out, Send them our way. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Be glad to read some more of the stuff that we have out here in the indie comic book community. Oh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been an awesome year. Um, and stay tuned because the next season is going to be bigger and better. We have plenty of other stories to read, plenty of content that's coming out year round. And yeah, thank so you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video. Mm -hmm. If you want to give your own top five, or if you like our top five, subscribe to the channel for way more, especially way more coming in 2024 mm -hmm. from Midnight Comics as a whole and of course follow us on our social media where we're midnight x comics everywhere except for facebook and right here and, <laughs> and of course follow us on patreon. patreon yes so you can get early looks at all of these things our current episodes of what we're reading at this point uh, you'll also be able to check out early looks at midnight adventures our community character creation night and so much more on that patreon so definitely check all of those things out and remember until next time everybody midnight is coming Summer night, it's summer night. She let me so late, should've spent the night. No need to hit follies, I'm working her body. I said she in love with the.